So we're doing a rally where everybody is going to be like instanced in their own, everybody's in their own little sort of universe for it. It's not like where you've got to wait for everybody to go. But this is going to be my first race ever on Cayo Perico. Is this any, all of our first races on Cayo Perico? <laughs> So we're all racing at the same time on the same rally route, but in our own little universes. Oh man, this is so weird. Doing a rally around Cayo Perico. Like what, what is this? And you can see where everybody is on the map in their own rallies. Oh. Actually works pretty good if you use the roads for a, a rally around here. I mean, it would obviously. Oh damn it! You'd obviously, you know, have a limited amount of tracks you could make, and they'd all be sort of rally slash rally cross stuff. But I mean, it's big enough to be able to host some stuff, and I imagine people could create things with custom road pieces to make it. Um, like, you know, to just give different scenery to something. If a track is entirely custom road or half custom, half off road sections or something. There we go. Seventh. Middle of the pack. That crash hurt me. That was pretty cool. Racing around Cayo Perico. An actual contact race around Cayo Perico now. Skinny roads, we're gonna have to be careful. See, these roads work for, like, little rally races. Oh, that was a lap. Very short lap. We just need a joker um, somewhere around here and it'd make a really good rally cross. Yeah, people could definitely... They, they, they should really make Cayo Perico available. Oh, no! Got away with it. And the Joker could be to the right there. Yeah, they should make Cayo Perico available in GTA for people to make races around. Like, with all the props that, people, that creators can use and how inventive creators are with, you know props in general in the game and the amount of the amazing creations, race creations that people make. I'm sure that we could get some good stuff from around Cayo Perico. This is just some checkpoints placed with no props and this is already fun. Oh! Tree of Death. Yeah, you could have the Joker on the right there, the longer lap, and then come back into the track here. Yeah, that was fun. Cayo Perico? I've never raced around Cayo Perico, I mean, of course I haven't. I mean, I'll take this grid slot. <laughs> Let's go.
Okay, we've got an okay start. I think the most fun thing about this has been just like racing around a completely fresh location like it's it's so unique to be racing around a completely new area of like in a GTA game it's like so used to to racing around the same you know locations or even if a track is completely custom created with props it's still the same you know backdrop and scenery and stuff actually racing around something completely new could definitely get some good tracks out of Cayo Perico whether custom made with just giving it a different scenery or rally races like what we've been doing or death matches, last team standings, whatever people still make in the creator that aren't racers I don't see the harm in making it available why not? but I mean this is Rockstar we're talking about We have, to, we have to rely on 5M and the wonderful devs that work on the servers there, like 8th Gear, to be able to give us these experiences. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. I think this is the best of the bunch of the three sort of tracks. I know the first one was a rally, so it was just a point to point, but. Like this is just like basic using the roads as well. There's no there's no props, no custom sections, no custom stunt road pieces or anything that would give people a lot more to play with. Even just using the roads works totally fine for a fun rally track. This is such a unique experience to be racing on Cayo Perico. I feel, I feel, I feel special. I feel happy. It's always nice to experience new things. Just a classic rally. This is nice. I got away, like, being in first, spawning in pole position was such a big advantage. Especially on, like, a, a tighter rally track. Sorry if it's been a little bit of a more boring race, but hey, I'll take it. I'm just enjoying driving around here in a race, honestly. Yeah, it's kind of a shame that they put in, they went to the trouble of making a brand new island and like essentially a, a map expansion to GTA and all they've, they've locked it off behind the heist, like you can't even free roam on it or anything like that, you can't make jobs on it, if you want to access it you've got to do the heist and you've got to be you know sneaking past people and all that kind of stuff, you can't explore really. Not freely, anyway. Even on a basic level, these tracks that we've done already on 8th gear have shown what could be done with it. Like, 
so many more possibilities. Oh, I'm sure, I mean the prop, the prop limits now, I don't know whether they're big enough, but you could certainly have like a track that, you know, is completely custom created stunt roads, for example, that is off the side of the island, but gives you some really cool views of the entire island or, you know, goes around half the island and then over, to over the top of it or something, because it is, you know, a bit smaller. You get some really cool races, really cool jobs. Racing around Kyle Perico. I don't think. Oops. I don't think I ever realistically thought I would ever be doing this. <laughs> Massive mistake on that lap. Let's not let's not choke it on this lap, shall we? Last lap. See if I can bring it home. Cap off this unique experience with a win. Would be nice. That bump's tricky. Got away with it. Seems like there's enough roads that you could definitely get some different rally routes as well around here. God damn it. The last two laps I've totally lost it. <laughs> I'm glad I pulled out the big gap in the previous five laps. Racing around Cayo Perico. First ever win around Cayo Perico. That's cool. Make it available, Rockstar. Let us let us create races around here and other jobs. Just do it. Is this another instance of the modding community outdoing Rockstar? I'm so shocked. <laughs> I know, right? Would you ever believe that? <laughs> to be fair, Rockstar made the island. Rockstar are always good at, like, they're so good at making interiors and locations and things like that. Like, that's where their strength is, I think. It's just the implementation of everything that they do always leaves a little bit to be desired. Like, they could just implement things in a better way that would be better for the, the player base and and just generally better for the git but hey thank you 8th gear devs for making this sort of thing available and giving us these experiences 